Um, Adam22 from No Jumper. I'm sure you guys have seen the interview, the first one, but the second go around where Adam22 went up to uh, Dame Dash Studios to go see Tim was very insightful and got me thinking about just generally goal setting, right? I think Dame Dash does a lot with people that he speaks to when he does his Dame Dash University stuff, where he kind of throws up the question about what your what does your day to day look like ten years from now, and he's he's very good at kind of you know specking out really big grandiose goals some of it he doesn't able to achieve but the fact that he's got, he's got his own network in that studios i mean he's very entrepreneurial and very big goal orientated right he's not just looking at the kind of service level stuff and of course he's all about ownership and having autonomy and what you're doing and there's something very very eye-opening about how what he said to adam 22 about having 10-year plan right which kind of want to span on a bit and then we'll talk about it on the other side but here's a clip I, uh, on youtube that i want to get up on here let's get it on here ba, 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 ba. where is it there you go boom and then we'll speak about what they spoke about right <laughs> really cares about just doing a lot of interviews 10 years what do you want to do in 10 years um i want to keep growing no jumper into a brand that could be bigger than no no, no. cut to 10 years lifestyle brand cut to 10 years 10 years don't tell me about okay. what you did to get there what does it look like in 45 uh house bigger how much bigger i don't know i just got a house i'm I'm having a hard time imagining why i would need a house any bigger than that that was the first thing you said yeah no 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 no. i'm pretty happy with how big the house is but i'm assuming in 10 years maybe it'll be bigger um i don't know i just want to keep growing the media company side of things the the content not today (laughs) but figure out what your dream ultimately is in 10 years and visualize it I kind of feel like I'm there in terms of doing the interviews. My AC is broken, so that's definitely one thing that 10 years from now I want to have fixed. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> just think it through. Mm. You know, this is a conversation you have with yourself. And think about what you want your day to look like in 10 years from when you wake up, if you even have to go to work, to when you go to bed. I feel you though because I feel like I'm caught up on a lot of million dollar dreams right now and I don't got no billion dollar dreams. Like I don't got no like crazy big thing that I'm going to invent that's going to change the world type ideas at this point in my life. I'm just focused on grinding out the company that I built for myself. And I think that's that's, that's essentially what most people get caught up on, right? I think I can really identify that in 22 there. Sometimes you can get too caught up on just making sure that your one major, your one little hustle is really kind of, you know, you're able to kind of build it up from there. But I think what Dame Dash is basically telling him is that um, that 10-year plan is probably a lot easier than what you think it is. And it will make the other, it will make the steps that you do in between that much easier to decide whether or not to say yes or no to certain things. Because once you have a bigger, once you have an idea of where you want to be 10 years down the line of what your day actually looks like day to day, it makes the decision in between that easier to do. Because imagine someone like Joe Rogan, I think says a lot how, because people are very fascinated a bit about, you know, how Joe Rogan's able to kind of, you know, run that operations Joe Rogan experience and just kind of keep things really low, keep things really, um, really simple, right? There's probably like three employees that work for him in general, apart from the security he has at his compound or at, at his studios. It's very kind of, you know, low key. And the way he's able to do it because he is, he put, he, he kind of specked out that he wants to continue doing the podcast, speaking to interesting people, putting his mates on uh, and doing comedy shows and announcing for the UFC. So it makes all the things in between easy to say no to. So someone says to him, oh, you want to do this TV show? No. You want to go film this reality TV show? No. You want to come in on my, on my appearance on this thing? No. You want to do this collaboration? No. He can say no to so many things because he knows what the actual long-term goal is. He knows his 10 years, 10 years on, he wants to be doing maybe the same amount of dates, comedy-wise, maybe, maybe more, maybe a bit less. He wants to be making podcasts five days a week or whatever it be is, taking vacations with his family twice or four times a year. That's the kind of way he wants to do things, but it just starts from that kind of overall goal and then it kind of makes the other steps that you do in between it much easier to do. And again, I think it's something that you don't necessarily think about in the beginning because you're so desperate just to kind of make sure your one little nut is being satisfied, right? You're making sure that you're kind of getting money in that one little area. But really, if you think about it a little bit more, a little bit more detailed, it can kind of make the other steps a little bit more easier to kind of spack out. And again, something that I kind of gleaned from the interview that I thought was really interesting. I recommend you check it out in general. I'll put the full link on the interview down below in the show notes, but it's something that I'll probably leave you guys to meditate on yourselves to kind of think about as well. But again, it made me kind of think about, you know, what I want to, what do I, what, what does my, what, what in 10 years time, what does my day to day look like? How, where am I waking up? What time am I waking up? Where am I? What does it look like? What does it smell like? What's the first thing that I do in the morning? Um, where do I have to be? Am I obligated to be somewhere? Um, th- whatever. Those kind of things are really interested to be. Who am I with? 
what, what do my friends look like? What do my associates look like? All those things are very interesting because they'll make the other steps in between so much easier to do. It's sort of the same sort of thing maybe happen if you're a fighter, right? If you're planning to have a fight and you're kind of trying to cut weight or whatever it may be called. You want to win. You want to make sure when you get to a fight, you get into the best, 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 best possible chance to win. So all decisions in between that and the fight are easy to make. When your friends call you to go out, you're not going to go out anymore because you want to make sure that you're not giving yourself any excuses to why it didn't work out at the end. You just say no here, no there, no there, so that at the end you can say yes to everything and it can all be all rosy. But again, I recommend you check it out. It's an amazing uh, interview. I think Dane Dash for all his ills and for all his, you know, inconsistencies and some of his deficiencies i think if you strip away all that stuff and you just concentrate on the message i think you can get a lot of value from it and i'm a big fan of his i think over the years he has proved to be somebody of again it's the morals and the and the ideals have maybe landed him in trouble and kind of maybe ostracize him in some way shape or form but you can only respect the stance that he's taken over the years some of it's been a bit you know a little bit um, OTT, the stance, the takes he's taken, but I think overall, I can only respect his kind of point of view and how he's kind of conducted his life over the years. And I think you don't have to respect it and hopefully take some heed from it for yourself in the things that you want to do um, going forward. But yeah.